Hey y'all, we are live. And you are on, whoop, I gotta turn you around. So sorry, double tap and flip the camera. There I am. How are ya? That's Mona Corwin. I am getting all set up to talk to you. How are you? Anybody there? I see four people. Tell me who you are. Right in the thing. Hey, Richie. I'm excited. I'm going to see you tomorrow, girl. I am all about this biblical woman stuff. We're going to have a great time. Um, just We're going to wait a few minutes as everybody gets to come in. We had um, a retweet from... We had a retweet from um, Moms in Prayer, so we're thinking that maybe some of the girls from over there are. It takes a little while to get all of our moms um, ready and uh, getting their kids settled so that they can do shoe kick camp. Awesome. Welcome. We're glad to have you. Um, as we are getting ready to uh, do this, I'm going to let you know that I'm Mona Corwin. And if you're watching this by replay, which I know a lot of mamas probably will, uh, you can still show the love by tapping. Hey, Megan. Oh, you have a, you do have a name. Shoe Kick Camp. Champ. I'm sorry. That's great. Cool. What a neat name. Um, you can uh, give us some loves. Richie, you know how to do this. Why don't you show them how you do it? Norlene wants to uh, hi, Norlene. That's so funny. Yeah, here we go. That's how we do hearts. You tap on the screen and it really encourages me. It really does and lets me know that what I'm doing is what you need and what you want because that's why I'm doing it. This is not something that is exciting for a person to try to do something new like this. Um, uh, Periscope's only been out since March and we're seeing um, that it's really going to be a great thing, especially for my kind of platform, which is Mentoring Moms. And I'm so excited to be here today with you. Uh, let's see. And if you're new to Periscope, then you'll know to tap on the, the things and you can write in the keyboard and ask me questions. I do ask that if you ask me a question, if you put two question marks and then the question in all caps, I can see it a little bit better and I can discern from the ones that the people are doing. Okay, um, I am Mona Corwin and I am called the Mom Mentor. And I blog over at uh, The Balanced Mom Life. I'm a published author, I'm a speaker, and now I guess I'm a periscoper. <laughs> Go figure! Um, over at The Balanced Mom Life, I help moms find their callings i help them find their balance and help them live their story which is individual to each and every one of you and god has a plan for every single thing that you do so i'm helping moms get all four of the secret ingredients to a balanced mom life together but the periscope is a little bit different because it's going to be things that i'm just um thinking about and um are going on in my lives and my life and your life that i think that would be a benefit to you so I want to say hi to everybody. Um, why don't you tell me where you're from? Let me see. I know we've got Meredith. We need some. Meredith. Meredith Butler. Give me some hearts, Meredith. Tap on that screen. <laughs> I think this is going to be great. This is going to be like us hanging. I love this. You guys can't come over to my house, but I can come to your house through Periscope. This is perfect. Um, what I'm going to talk about today is the um, War Room movie. I miss you too, honey. Um, it, did you go see the War Room movie, Meredith? Have you seen it? It is amazing. It is um, a, a, a Christian movie, and Priscilla Shire is in it, and she is great. But uh, the pretense of the movie is that it's all about prayer and the power of prayer and especially the power of a mom's prayer. And that's what we really want to talk about today. Um, one of the scriptures, they didn't really have that on there, but I like this one in Matthew 6, 6. And I think this kind of matches because they're talking about the war room and, the, and Priscilla meets a lady that has um, an older lady that tells her about how she fights the enemy in prayer and how this woman, Priscilla, which actually her name is Elizabeth in the movie, she can fight for her family. And it's the story of that unfolding. It's fabulous. But um, this, I think this is uh, the scripture that would really apply to that. It says, 
Matthew, it's Matthew 6, 6. But when you pray, go into your room and close the door and pray to your father who is, who is unseen. And then your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. And I think as moms, I think that's exactly what we need to focus on today. So I'm gonna tell you today that you have power as a mom, you have power in prayer, you have power over the enemy, you have the authority to do all these things. And the things that, um, that God says that we can do in prayer, we actually can do. It's a really real thing. But sweet baby girl, if you don't do it for your hubby, and your man, your your man, and you don't do it for your babies, then who's doing it? Your passion and your power and authority over your marriage and your home and um, what goes on with your kids is in your hands, literally in your hands, and you have the ability to do it. I want to encourage you. The world will not tell you this. The world will not tell you that what you do is important. The world will not tell you that what um, be, ha having a normal marriage or a loving, kind relationship with your mother-in-law or a loving, kind relationship with your neighbor or they're not going to tell you that that is possible. And I'm here to tell you it is possible and God makes it possible. And if you think it isn't possible because you're looking around going, this is all crazy and everybody's mean and I don't like this. And you know, my husband said this and my kids are pulling on me and I'm so tired. Well, girl, your strength will not come from anything other than the Word of God and spending time with Him. In the weeks to come, I'm going to be showing you um, methods to um, grab a hold of the scriptures that you need and um, get together with the Lord in prayer. I, I feel extremely, extremely um, serious about this. I believe, truly, truly believe that the gift of a woman to be... A prayer warrior is the thing that the enemy tries to take from us through busyness, through distraction, through being tired. And I'm telling you right now, we, we have to get a grip on this because we are going to either be raising the kids that will see the end times and fight through some pretty hard things, or we're raising kids that will raise the kids. So I want to be a grandma that is remembered for being on her knees. I pray for my grandchildren, my great grandchildren. And I'm going to, in the weeks to come, I'm going to show you specifically what I do. Um, I wish I had had somebody come along and shown me some of this stuff. And you may have ideas that I don't have that I can, I can glean from and we can share with one another. As women, we've got to join together so that we can truly know what, um, what it is to be a powerful, a powerful group of women in prayer and really change the atmosphere of what's going on. It's not going to, you know, I, I'd love for it to happen in, um, up in Washington and I'd love for it to be as easy as just getting people to stop watching TV but it's not it's gonna happen in prayer and it's gonna happen ground roots and it's got to start with the mamas because we are the ones that put the atmosphere into the air we are the ones that create the environment that our kids live in we are the ones that when our man comes in the door and he shuts that door he can say nobody can get me in here my girls here my kids are here, my dog's here, and they all love me, and they are grateful that I'm home, and the world can't push at me in here. Girl, we got to have that kind of atmosphere in our home, and it happens through prayer, and Jesus changing our hearts. I'm going to give you a couple more scriptures. Devote yourself to prayer, being watchful and thankful. We have to be watchful, because when we see things in our kids, I've just seen something in one of my kids recently, I'm like, where did that, that come from? I'm like, oh no. Uh-uh, no enemy. You're not having that part of my kid's life. Sorry. And went and found scriptures and have been praying them over that child and being thankful for the things that they do that I am um, amazed at. And then here's another one, Jeremiah 29. We know Jeremiah 29, 11, but we don't know Jeremiah 29, 12. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. You can't have Jeremiah 11 until you have... 12 and 13. We have to seek him. And we need to be joyful, even if it's not fun, even if it's scary, even if um, things don't go our way. We need to find our faith and our joy and not let the enemy take it. 
Okay, this 10 minutes has gone really, really fast, and I'm not going to do a 20-minute one because you all know I could talk for two hours. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk, this today was about the power that we have because we have a war room that we can go to. But as mamas, we don't usually have a room that we can go and clean out and put cool things on the wall and just go in there and shut the door because our kids would, I mean, who knows? They might die. I mean, they might who knows? Um, so tomorrow we will talk about four practical ways to get that war room in your life. So I'm going to show you, uh, tell you four practical ways for your mommy to get uh, a war room in her life. And I just appreciate you y'all. And I hope that you will share this with other people so that we can help mamas. They just need to be encouraged. And I hope you are encouraged today. I know it encourages me to be around you. So that's it. And um, thank you. I'm glad you're going to choose joy today. Yes, in real life or Periscope. <laughs> Bye, sweetie. Have a great day, y'all.